for Complex News. I'm Drea Donna and I'm inside the Park City Live Complex Studio at the 2019 Sundance Film Festival. Right now I am joined by author, actress, comedian, Phoebe Robinson. Phoebe, thank Hi, you so much. how are you? I'm awesome, how are you? I'm good, thanks for having me. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, I'm glad to be here. <laughs> Phoebe, Bust out this vest, this little Dapper Dan Listen, moment. With the, oh, that's right, hold on, it's Gucci. Yes. Show the people, hey now. Hey okay, now, okay, okay. come on now, Gotta Dapper show. Dan. Dapper Dan and Gucci some love. <laughs> but a culture. Right. I respect that. So have you been to Sundance before? Yeah, I was here last year. Jess and I did like a cute little viewing party oh. for uh, the first batch of episodes for Tito right. Queens. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's good to be back and there's less snow on the ground. So I'm mm -hmm. like happy about that. <laughs> uh, so now you're, I'm glad you mentioned that. You are back again with HBO. Yes. And with Two Dope Queens. If you aren't familiar, but you should be, Phoebe is one half of the podcast known as Two Dope Queens along with Jessica Williams, and they are here to promote four. Yes. Four televised specials on HBO on February 8th. Yes. So Phoebe, just kind of help us visualize that. How do you take a podcast, which is like an audio format, and turn it into a whole HBO production? Well, I think one of the things that worked about the podcast is that we did it in front of a live audience, so HBO could see that we could interact with an audience and have celeb guests on, mm -hmm. and it will still have that fun sort of house party vibe. Yeah. So when we brought it to HBO, it's just like we got like a, a bigger budget. Like, you know, when we would do the podcast, like Jess and I would roll up in sweatpants, and <laughs> you can't do that on HBO. Nah. You can't do that when they have a Khaleesi, so right. you got to... <laughs> you had to do hair and makeup. Uh -huh. um, but I think HBO was really able to bring out the energy that we have awesome. um, and really have like a great set design and really have, we have amazing guests like Lupita Nyong'o. Oh my gosh, I saw that. Lizzo, Lupita. Janet Ma, uh -huh. Dale Radcliffe, Keegan, and they're all such big, bold personalities. Absolutely. And so it was it was. They great. need to be to go toe-to-toe -to -toe when you were just yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> have you met Lupita before? I hadn't, so I was so mm -hmm. excited. But she was so fun really? and she's really funny and so game to do what Whatever. So it was it was a blast. Awesome. Yeah. And then this season has themes too, right? Yeah. So what can we kind of look forward to as far as how the show is structured? Yeah. So we have a fashion episode, which is really huge. Just Jess and I love talking about fashion. Mm -hmm. We have a Regal AF where we just sort of go all out with our outfits and just try oh. to look very grand. Okay. Uh, we have a nostalgia episode, which is where Daniel Radcliffe comes in because you know Jess is such a huge yes. Harry Potter yes. fan. So the moment when they meet on stage is so sweet and oh. magical and tender. It's like a dream come true. Yeah. <laughs> she was like so happy. It was oh. so awesome to capture that on camera uh -huh. and then the music episode you know we got Janet Mock you know with Pose and we mm. also have Lizzo who is just blowing Listen, up. Listen Lizzo is dangerous yes. watch out for Lizzo. Yes. yes so the two of them in one episode we were so we're so proud That's of that. Fierce. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> so how does it feel to be at Sundance? You're like the belle of the ball. It feels pretty cool mm -hmm. like I think we never thought that the podcast was going to turn into and HBO, let right. alone four specials and now an additional four specials. So I think we're just feeling sort of like grateful and like, thank you, thank yeah. you, thank you so much. <laughs> and we hope everyone, I think this batch of episodes is even stronger than the first four. So I'm awesome. really excited about that. I am too, because those first four were so funny and so entertaining. <laughs> thank you. Well, this is really something to look forward to. So I hate to talk about it because it's sad, but... We got to. So, Two Dope Queens, yeah. the podcast, the audio version, ended back in November, correct? Yeah. With the biggest mic drop. Y'all were like, our last guest is Michelle Obama. <laughs> no, we out. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, just with the way that Jess has been doing so many movies, and uh -huh. I've been touring, doing stand-up, and also doing acting things, like, we just don't want to half-ass it or... Right. Just be like, oh, guys, we're going to go on hiatus for like two years, but here are like three sort of crappy episodes. Absolutely. And so we were just like, if we're going to end it, we got to end it right. Mm -hmm. And the fact that Michelle Obama agreed to like let us interview her right. and then she was so awesome and cool we went to her office in dc and it was, it was a full just like pinch me pinch me pinch oh me goodness. moment it was great yeah. yeah so i don't know about you but all mm -hmm. my friends this their new year's resolution was like i'm gonna start a podcast yeah getting a podcast popping off yeah but what is it about your show two dope queens that you think resonated and what do you think would really take to just break through the clutter right now because yeah. it's such a crowded market well i think what stood out about two dope queens is the fact that it was like a variety show where it's like banter up top, stand with comedians, celebrity guests, you kind of like got a mix of different sort of comedy formats. Uh -huh. And also I think there really wasn't a live variety show hosted by two black women. Right. 
and just being themselves in the podcast yeah. space. People felt like they were like listening to their best friends. Yeah, yeah, and I think people really relate to that and it was refreshing and I think a lot of podcasting could sort of have that serious sort of Ira Glass. That NPR tone. Yeah. yeah, and I think Jess and I are just very much like we don't sound like that. We're just going to be ourselves and we're going to talk about things that bother us and I know in the beginning some people would message us and be like we talk about race too much, you talk about black women's hair too much and it's like these are our... It's your life. Yeah, <laughs> and I think people really appreciate that and I yeah. think to stand out in the podcast world which is so swamped right now right. I think you really just have to do stuff that is truly from your heart and okay. that's what's gonna pop off mm. when you look back on it though like how how would you summarize it what do you think is like the biggest takeaway from two dope queens I think you know when Jess and I decided to do the show we she started out doing improv in LA and I started out doing comedy in New York and we both noticed most comedy shows were just straight white guys right. and we we're like we know so many funny people who don't look like that mm. and they're not getting the same opportunities so we felt like if we're gonna have have a show like yes it's great that it could give us a platform but we want to also celebrate our friends like Michelle Buteau yes. and you know who's now on a TV show as well yes yeah. and just like there's so many brilliant people out there so I think for me the legacy of Teed Up Queens is that like it wasn't just about us mm. it's like we're going to support everybody we're going to bring everyone along and I think having that sort of teamwork and that sort of yeah. supportive energy is what people really respond to so That's I'm amazing. so proud of that yeah you should be oh thank you, you. <laughs> and so what is one word for just to describe personally or professionally oh. how you want 2019 to look for you oh one, one word um surprising okay yeah because I'm a workaholic <laughs> and I'm a planner mm -hmm. so if I if I get shaken up a little bit that's always good for me so surprise you. me yeah okay. <laughs> you gotta take your hand off the wheel yeah, right. <laughs> listen you all please 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 check out two dope queens on HBO there's four episodes starting February 8th starring Phoebe Robinson. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. And this color on you is phenomenal. Just gotta say. <laughs> now I feel like a queen. Yeah, right. thank, you. thank you, Phoebe. Thank you so much. For Complex News, I'm Drea Zana. And if you want more highlights from Complex at Sundance, please check out complex.com and follow us on Instagram and Twitter.